I'm Michael Burson with Show Me Progress, and I'm speaking with Gary Grigsby, who is a candidate in the 51st Legislative District in uh, the uh, primary in August. Gary, um, you've been talking to people in the district. What issues are important to them? In this district, education is of supreme importance, both public school education and higher ed. We have the University of Central Missouri, we have Missouri Valley College, and there's also a State Fair Community College in uh, Sedalia proper, even though Sedalia is not in the district. This district is composed of parts of Johnson, parts of Pettis, and parts of Saline County. And so well, there's the rural agriculture uh, interest as well as um, the education interest and we have a veterans home in Warrensburg and veterans interests are of extreme importance as I am a marine veteran. So uh, Gary you're, you're also a um, owner of a small business in Warrensburg. Uh, how, how has having this small business and, and what happens at the state level, how does that affect small businesses? Well, more and more small business is being impacted by uh, government, by issues that are occurring uh, with government. One of the concerns that we have right now is uh, internet sales. Internet sales are impacting on uh, both my business and the local and uh, state government. We're not collecting uh, tax revenues for the local uh, government or for uh, the state government. Uh, we need to have some sort of control over internet sales. My, uh, my business has been impacted. I have people that will shop the internet, come in, and they're more intelligent in their shopping. They have specific models that they come in and they want to see. Uh, oftentimes they'll come into my store and check a product and, uh, and then even go into the Kansas City metropolitan area and, and check out some sales, but then they'll, they'll come back oftentimes. And uh, we, have, um, we have items that uh, we, we put competitively priced so that it's comparative to internet sales. So uh, how does the, the lack of um, uh, tax on internet sales, though, sort of impact you? Well, if I don't have that sale, initially the, the money that you get in a local business, somewhere back in my education I heard the, the rule of thumb that a dollar spent in a local economy turns seven times. Well, that same dollar continues to turn. If it turns in Warrensburg, if it turns in Marshall, if it turns in these three counties in my district, that's good for local business. But if it goes out of state or out of country even, then the, the, the benefits of the uh, economic turning of the dollar are not found. So then this, this turns to, again, the, the impact of small businesses on the local economy and the issue of jobs. Um, the General Assembly, uh, this session really didn't do much in the sense of, of jobs bills. And uh, jobs and employment are, are pretty important in, uh, in to people in this district. Yes, the, very much so. Uh, we're having more and more high school, college students uh, coming in seeking jobs and the job market is just not there. The shorter term jobs are not there. The full-time jobs uh, do not seem to be there. We have uh, small businesses that are closing and this impacts on local, commu local communities' economies. I, uh, I I would like to say that, that we're able to expand to fill some of this need, but without the turn of sales in a local store, we cannot support uh, having new employees coming into the business. Uh, w when it comes to education in the state and uh, the investment uh, in higher education and K-12 public education, uh, there have been cuts, and that impact has been significant. Um, how do you see that uh, as a problem in the state, and what is the solution? 
Well, at this point, I think that we're going to have to fund education to a greater extent. We're going to have to increase our funding to public school education. All of these years of cuts have left us at a minimal operation, and sometimes we're operating below uh, standards. So we're going to have to increase funding so that higher education especially can regain ground that was lost in the years past when those cuts were taken. Now, um, you know, as an investment um, in, in the future, there, there's an impact on people um, it, with students in, in college who um, have to, you know, the affordability, just the accessibility isn't there uh, the way that it once was, and, and that has an impact uh, on the economy. Yes, it does. When, uh, when the cost for the student to attend classes at the university or at college level uh, has increased to the point that it has today. Uh, they're looking for additional funding, for grants, for scholarships, for uh, uh, part-time jobs, for full-time jobs. Some students are being driven out of college because they cannot afford the cost of the fees. So what's happening to the local economy uh, is that uh, we're, we're maybe having fewer students that are able to have expendable monies that uh, would come into the community directly. You know, and, and, and this becomes problematic because as fewer people are in um, higher education and taking advantage of that, uh, it, it does affect the, the long-term economic health of the state uh, because uh, people with uh, higher education tend to be more employable and, and better employees. Yes, and another thing that you need to look at, these, imp these people that are involved in higher education are our future. They're the ones who are going to be the doctors, the lawyers. They're going to be looking out for us in our senior years. I want them to be well-trained so that when they have to make those decisions about uh, my health care and my well-being, and they're going to become the politicians of the future and looking, uh, looking forward rather than looking backward. Uh, recent politicians have looked backward and have not, uh, have not provided for the future. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day.